If you're a human being living in the world today, and if you're watching this, I assume you probably are, life is arguably the peachiest it's ever been for our species. The data tells us we're getting richer, better educated, better fed, more peaceful. Obviously things are far from perfect, but historically speaking, pretty good time to be a homo sapiens. For Earth's other inhabitants, it's a different story. A new United Nations report, put together by hundreds of the world's top scientists, has painted a very grim picture indeed for the world's plants and animals. The report says that nature is experiencing the fastest decline in human history, and right now there are a million plant and animal species being threatened with extinction. Yep, a million. That includes 40% of frogs, a third of marine mammals, and a third of all reef-forming corals. This species collapse is big enough to be classified as a mass extinction, when more than 50% of the species on Earth are wiped out. It's not actually the first time our planet has experienced a mass extinction. Or even the second, or the third. As far as scientists can tell, it's actually the sixth. These events don't tend to happen all of a sudden. Each generally lasts tens of thousands of years. The first one was more than 440 million years ago, when the cooling of the Earth killed off 60 to 70 per cent of the Earth's species. Most of them lived in the ocean, and they didn't look much like the creatures around these days. A series of extinctions about 375 million years ago, probably also a cooling event, saw the planet farewell about 70% of its species. Then there was the big one, cheerfully dubbed the Great Dying, which happened 200 million years ago when the Earth warmed up by up to 10 degrees, killing 96% of species, including some pretty legit looking creatures like pelicosaurs and therapsids. Then there was the Triassic-Jurassic extinction. And the last big one, which happened just the other day, about 65 million years ago, when these guys kicked the bucket, probably with the help of an asteroid or two. The geological term for the time we're living in now is the Holocene, and so the extinction we're living through is known as the Holocene extinction. It's thought to have begun about 100,000 years ago, about halfway through Homo sapiens' time on the planet so far. Some people call this extinction the Anthropocene extinction, anthropo meaning of humans, because scientists think that humans are the ones making this extinction happen, or at least making it happen much faster. This UN report says that in the past 50 years, human activity has seriously ramped up the rate of extinction. We're clearing rainforests and wetlands to make way for cities and livestock, overfishing the oceans and polluting with plastic and carbon dioxide. Our population has tripled and doesn't show any sign of slowing down. And if we don't make some serious changes, we could all go the same way as these guys. Of course, we've known for a while now that the planet's in trouble, and there are plenty of people right around the world trying to change things. The UK Parliament just became the first in the world to declare an environment and climate emergency after some big protests from a group called Extinction Rebellion. The UN report says solving this extinction crisis is possible. We humans need to set aside more room for nature, reduce the amount of plastic we produce, and do what we can to slow down global warming. It's a monumental task, but many say it is possible if we work together.